All right, the next video in my WM Form training videos here is a new design, and we are going to do a drainage design. <clears throat> All right, now, um, personal opinion, I like to show satellite map, and we are going to drain this whole field. It's very simple uh, to do. It's a very easy calculation, not in-depth at all across the top of course we can add ditch we can add activity area we can add basin area we can add exclusion zone measure tool and then of course our editor settings and then design data we can add design data and then your satellite map all right um, looking at the field all the customer wants to do is drain the field to the edges okay we don't care about limiting cut depth. We don't care about limiting fill depth. We just want a minimum slope of two tenths. Okay. Spacing. Sampling grid spacing 31.6737 feet. This is a program generated number. The lower the number, the longer the calculation, the better the result. Personally, if you go much below 20 feet, you're probably not seeing anything any better than 20 feet. If you've got a big field, let's go up to about 50 feet, okay? Go ahead and hit calculate. Down at the bottom, <clears throat> the 50 feet in my 33 acre field is quick. Uh, it comes up with 198 yards to the acre. We check our proposed design contours. Let's check our slopes. Okay, now you see that this, whereas previously, how we see all of these humps and holes out here, holes mainly, now with our proposed layered on top of that, we see how the water will now flow down to the low, all the way around the field. All right, shut the original back off. There's our proposed contours. It's making sure everything flows off of the field at two tenths. Okay, 6,000 yards. Look at our cut fill map. We see what we're, we see where we're cutting, where we're filling. Looks like we just have a big hole out here in the middle that we're trying to fill up. And yes, it does have a nine foot and nine tenths, a two foot cut right there in the middle. I personally surveyed that field and there was water sitting in deep ruts in this area. Okay, now uh we can do lots of design iterations with variable grade as with any of the land of other land form we can copy the selected design and we can just hit copy of initial design or you can rename it okay this option two now, you can do whatever you want as far as your minimum slope. We can put in a 0.3 tenths of a minimum slope. And we're going to lower this down since it's not a very big field. doesn't take long to calculate. We're going to lower it down to 20 feet. Okay. We're going to lower this down to 20 feet. Now let's take a note here. 198 yards to the acre on 50 feet. We lower it down to 20 feet. We hit calculate. And... <clears throat> comes up with 147 yards to the acre okay some designs it makes a big difference some other designs you can't see very much difference so just take in mind keep into consideration your spacing and what what kind of results you get okay two tenths of minimum slope or three tenths okay we need to configure our uh, what we want to look at so this is three tenths makes the water fall off the field quicker is the only difference 247 yards an acre on 20 foot spacing as well okay again you can do balanced import export if you want to build roads around it shouldn't be a problem everything else is the same Okay, that is the basic drainage 
plan. All right, be sure when you're done designing, be sure to save your work. So here is, I'm just going to save it to my FMX E drive under the root, and I'm going to put in training. And this is going to save a WM or a MPH file on my thumb drive. So if we go here to my thumb drive, <clears throat> It will show up here right directly under there's my mph training mph file okay so if you don't move it if you don't pull your thumb drive out of the computer or anything by default it's going to save it to your thumb drive just be sure you save everything when you're done 